everyone and welcome to Dream Home Season 7 powered by Jones and Tiles, co-presented by ACC Cements, Prayag, HPL Wires and Asset Homes. So now let me welcome our wonderful panel of judges, Ms. Sudha. Mr. Jibbo John. So on this very special episode, we present before you Ramesh and Anjali home from Arnaculum. So judges already, let's take a look. What's up family, I'm your host Dinesh Karthik and welcome to a brand new episode of Dream Home Season 7. We are at Ramesh and Anjali house in Kakanad, Arnaculum district. This is a 3,000 square foot property with four bedrooms. I can't wait to show it to you, let's check it out. And let's get into the landscape. As you can see, we've got lots of greenery, lots of natural stone. We actually have the stone pathway that leads all the way to the back. We have uh, lots of pebbles around the sides and lots of plants and trees. Overall, it's just a very sleek look. Now, right behind me, we have this water fountain. It's actually made up of waste granite. And in addition to that, you can see that the way the landscape is made, the grass actually blends right into that wall over there. Now, let's take a look inside. <music> This is the sit-out area. As you can see, it's completely Lipotha granite. We have three different levels that lead up to the door. Now the door is completely wood. We have glass around the side and a, a granite sitting area. Now let's take a look inside. And welcome into the living room. As you can see, it is completely contemporary. For every little bit of it from that wall, we have like a, a space that looks right into the dining space, very contemporary. We have large windows to my right and to my left. This is great for lighting and obviously air circulation. Right below me, we have vitrified tiles and a fall ceiling right above me. <laughs> the dining area. As you can see, we've got lots of different shades of brown. Overall, very, very elegant and sleek. Now we have a niche wall to my right that actually overlooks right into the living area. We have the same kind of thing to my left, which overlooks right into the pantry area. We've got vitrified tiles right below me. It's actually a combination with wood. We have a fall ceiling right above me. And something very cool is we have an elevated puja area right behind. Now I'm standing here in the pantry area. This is the niche that I was talking about earlier. We've got Korean tops, we've got vitrified tiles right below me, and we have a wooden cupboard area right behind me. Let's take a look at the kitchen. And this, my friends, is the kitchen. I know you guys have been waiting to see this one, and it's beautiful. As you can see, it's not very spacious. However, because of the color scheme, it's lots of bright colors. It feels very spacious in here. Now, this island right here is actually made of nano glass. Right behind me, we've got the counters, which is actually granite. 
And right to the right side of me is a work area. Pantry right where you're standing. Now, I just love this staircase. As you can see, it's completely wood, but in addition to that, we also have these steel cables that run all the way to the bottom. We have some glass right in front. In addition to that, lots and lots of windows. We have a corner window to my right. In addition to that, a pergola right above. It's kind of in an oval, leafy type of shape, and the design is definitely one of a kind. Now, let's take a look at the first floor. Now this is the first floor family living area. As you can see right above me we have a false ceiling, we've got wooden floors right below me, and to my left you also see the wooden TV paneling. In addition to that we've got two bedrooms right in front of me. Right behind me is a beautiful staircase that leads right into that door that, which is actually a balcony right outside with some grass and overall it's just very well put together. Let's take a look at the next room. Welcome into the master bedroom. As you can see, we've got lots of different shades of brown. We've got this wooden headboard, which is also brown. Obviously, we've got a wooden flooring. Now, we have a very large window right behind me and also one right in front of me. This is great for, obviously, lighting and air circulation. Right above me, we have a false ceiling. And right behind me, we have a balcony area. You can actually wake up in the morning and walk right over. Now, to my left, we have this awesome study area and we also have a walk-in closet right in front of me right next to the bathroom. Now let's take a look at the next room. Now two awesome things that I love about the first floor is one to my left, this beautiful little study area. It's almost as if you have your own little room, very comfortable, very cozy. Now right behind me we have the balcony area. Let's take a look at it. From the design point, it had to be simple yet very classy. So, uh, and nalonam ventilation, nalonam light, natural light, uh, we we had planned on bringing in. And adhunu uh, vendi skylight on the stairwell we have given. 
and ella points uh, the functions were given more importance and then ella individual tastes makalda uh, muriyanengilum master bedroom anengilum ella taste in terms of color and um, yet keeping it simple we try to make this design both of the judges would be having 100 marks each wherein this 100 marks is again subdivided into 10 different aspects which includes exteriors interiors decor and lighting landscaping kitchen bathroom flooring wardrobe painting and value for money If you look at it, the um, off-white color combination with the white windows and the, it is quite practical exterior with uh, necessary sloping roofs and the you know, practical sun shades that has to be there. Maybe the gate and the uh, handrail on top of the terrace uh, looks slightly outdated, but otherwise it's a very practical and uh, sensible exterior. I'll go for six. 6 out of 10 and I guess this is an example of the ideal dream home every uh, individual wants, especially me. Uh, yeah, so what's your opinion? You'll say that a lot more once you see the interiors. <laughs> so the exteriors uh, seen by itself, I would have asked for a little more. Mm. Uh, having given the tile roof uh, being present there, the mm. tile sloping sunshade that's being present there, uh, I think the angle that's been taken is rather a bit too shallow. So much so that you don't see much of it and whatever you, whatever little that you see tends to be the cliched colour of tile which I think could have very well been avoided, let's say a chocolate brown or some colour that will mm. give a little zing to the tiles that are already there. But otherwise the elevation is a sort of modernish and looks nice. Uh, the beauty of the whole house is that the elevation is hardly there to be seen. Uh, it's all green, mm. you have the landscape all the way, all the way around it which yeah. actually gives it the marks that it needs. So, but elevation per se, I'll give only a 6. 6 out of 10. Interiors. Interiors are uh, quite elegantly done. The uh, flooring and the flow of the rooms, that is basically from the drawing room, uh, you, you have the steps and uh, the dining room. All those things are well matched out, the color of the wood used, the color of the doors, the color of the furniture, the lighting, different types of lighting is used but everything matches one to one mm. and um, what you see outside is also visible from the inside. So uh, overall the interiors are uh, done very well and it gives a, a good positivity when you enter the house I think. I'll go for 7. 7 out of 10, Ms. Sudha. Yes, I think the interiors are uh, very elegantly designed. I, f I find the word elegant suiting this uh, building very much, the interiors of this. Uh, they've used the right com amount of contrast, the right amount of uh, dark and light uh, shades. The, um, the uh, flow of space is basically is very interesting. Uh, I love the balcony from the bedroom. Uh, you can see the living room at an uh, intermediate level which again gives it a sort of connectivity between the ground and the first floors. So that way the, the whole effect of the interiors are, it can be seen from everywhere which is a very beautiful thing. Uh, I also like the, uh, yeah, the use of flooring, we will come to that but uh, it is done very coordinated that is what the whole thing is about. I will give it a 7.3. 7 7.3 out of 10. <laughs> Like you've said, different rooms have used different kind of lighting. So, how do you judge the decor and lighting as a whole? If, you, if I talk about decor first, I think uh, decor, the, that is basically the colors, the furnishings, the curtains used. Everything is actually uh, done and uh, carefully taken to match one another. Uh, it is not that they've gone for a safer color. Mm. If you take the drawing room, you see the uh, jute colored upholstery, but then the use of uh, wine red or the burgundy red uh, along with it actually uh, makes it more lively and brighter but at the same time that uh, subtle uh, you know class is maintained in the living room. Uh, if, if we talk about lighting basically uh, rather than the artificial lighting uh, that oval shaped pergola on top of the staircase uh, that intricate patterning on the wall just vertical to it. Uh, the natural light coming into the house during daytime and in the afternoons and all will 
make the house and the, uh, 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 the inner spaces look much better and uh, more, uh, you know, uh, and that too planning is also good. So that lighting is also good. Natural lighting is good. If you talk about artificial lighting, there is a mix of uh, hanging lamps, there is a uh, cove lighting, indirect lighting, uh, there is actually spotlights used there. So all these things are uh, very well selected and uh, it, nothing is like uh, standing out as a, a bad element. So uh, that is well taken care of. I will go for 7. 7 out of 10. I totally Dha? agree with what Jibu said, the red color cushions that's, that merges at the same time gives him that vibrancy. It doesn't stand mm -hmm. out as an odd thing there. Uh, I especially liked the ceiling level curtains that add the texture to the drawing room. The drawing room walls have big windows, but this, the curtains that come right from the, top, from the ceiling to the floor add, adds a very lightness and a texture to the walls, so that looks really nice. I'll give it a 7.5. 7.5. Landscaping. See, uh, seeing this house and uh, knowing that it is in Cochin, uh, you don't uh, tend to uh, you know imagine that there can be that kind of a vertical IV wall because I think they had a, a wall on one side and they you know done it up with uh, creepers so mm. the entire greenery is taken in. It looks like a, a you know in resorts you do this because you have vertical walls coming behind your cottage, the IV walls taken up. So that feel is feel of a resort ambience is uh, given here. And I think on that side they have something like a front veranda or a mm. barbecue area there which will actually complement each other very well. Mm. The fountain also uh, adds to it because the flow of water and the sound of it always is a very tranquil feeling. I think landscaping also has been done well. I will go for 7. 7 out of 10, Ms. Sudha. Yes, I agree again with all those points that Jibu said. I will also like to add that the, uh, the pathway that they have uh, kept there as a contrast between the lawn and the stones that come mm -hmm. there actually takes your eyes, it sort of leads your eyes, it's almost like an arrow pointing towards the side where the fountain is, the waterfall has been created. So that sort of leads you to the highlight or the focal point of the landscape which is the waterfall and which is a beautifully designed uh, structure. So. The exterior of the building along with this landscape really uh, blends beautifully there, creating a wonderful ambience. I'll give it a 7. 7 out of 10. Kitchen. Kitchen I feel uh, is the room which I like the best in this house because that uh, light wooden flooring and the small steel trim plus that uh, central island with that same wooden color laminate, the white top, again the white boxed uh, cabinets which are coming in in a disarray but it is uh, arranged to look like that. So this forms a, a good combination rather than a typical standard kitchen that has been treated quite well uh, considering the space of the kitchen they were given with. Uh, I think I will go for 7.5. 7.5 out of 10, Ms. Sudha. Yes, the kitchen is treated very nicely. I especially felt that the centre table has a contrasting white countertop instead of the black that is there on the, on the outside or the peripheral counters. So this actually brought in a lot of lightness. Had this been black, I think it would have dulled down the whole thing or brought it down heavily. So this gives it a very much of a lightness. There's brightness all around thanks to the different types of light also. The cove lights are there and the stainless steel trimming especially gives it a beautiful floating feel. I am giving it a 7. 7 out of 10. Bathrooms. Bathroom also treated quite well. Uh, there is this uh, rough ivory cladding with the uh, smooth one and the uh, closets and the other thing contrast is uh, treated very nicely. I will go for 6.5. 6.5 out of 10, Ms. Sudha. Yeah, the space provided uh, is good enough for them to have an extra, extra large wash basin which really adds to the expanse of the bathroom. So it looks really nice, it looks, appears to be much bigger than it is and uh, very simple and elegant tiles also. So I'll give it a 7. 7 out of 10. Flooring. 
flooring complements uh, the entire house very subtly it's not too loud and it is just there but uh, it complements it very well mm -hmm. go for 7 7 out of 10 mr da yeah the flooring has basically uh, taken care of de uh, defining the areas very well the right kind of flooring has been used in the right places i'll give it a 6.5 6.5 out of 10 <laughs> Wardrobe. Wardrobes again have been treated based on the rooms, interior decor. There is a wooden wardrobe in one room and there is another sort of a wardrobe in another room. But both are suiting very well to the rooms which and the interior decor that is run, done for the rooms. So wardrobe also is nice. I will go for 7. 7 out of 10, Mr. Da. Yeah, the sleekness where it's tucked in like in a like in a walk-in closet, you find the dark wood that gives it a sort of classical feel and where it is exposed to the bed bedside area or the bedroom area, you find that the wardrobes have been treated with a very light material and stainless steel, maybe even a mirror kind of finish uh, on the facade of the wardrobe which gives it a lot of lightness. So it's been really carefully thought of and detailed, I'll give it a 7. 7 out of 10. <laughs> What about the overall paintings? Painting is one of the main elements that leads to, leads you to uh, you know doing a good interior, and that has been treated very well and uh, mostly pastel uh, pastel colors, warm lighting, so it gives a very good warmth and nice ambience to the entire interiors. I'll go for seven. Seven out of ten, Ms. Sudha. Seven again, lovely pastel shades, and I also like the darker shades that have come up by the side of the landing. You have. Uh, a beautiful olive-ish, olive greenish, greyish, okay it's a shade I can't put my Pastel finger on but it's a beautiful shade of a slightly deeper shade which which really reflects well with all the levels that you see it from different levels so it still looks really good so and exterior of course I would like to uh, change the color of tiles if it was left to me but otherwise it's 7. 7 out of 10. <laughs> Value for money? Seven. Seven? Seven. Seven out of ten again. So the total marks given by Mr. Sudha 69.3 and by Mr. Ajibo is 69 out of 100, which makes a total of 138.3. So it's time for us to wind up today's episode. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, this is Archana Ravi and the entire team of Dream Home Season 7, powered by Jones and Tiles, co presented by ACTC Men's Prayag HPL Wires and Asset Home signing off. Ta-ta.